everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited you're here today. We're going to make this cute spring wreath from April's Paper Pumpkin Kit. Uh, if you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, really quick, it's just this cute little box of goodies that comes every month and you get to create the fun stuff that's inside. Everything's pre-cut, ready for you to design and make. And this month was special. We got two stamp sets because they were celebrating uh, their anniversary, three-year anniversary of Paper Pumpkin, plus um, the millionth kit, I think, was sent out. So kind of exciting. I'm just opening up the kit here. And while I'm doing that, I just want to share with you, make sure you go check out my website because the retiring product list from Stampin' Up! has released and there are tons of products on sale and they're only while supplies last. So many things have already sold out, but if you go to my website, the links are there to go look at what's still left and you can purchase um, those products in my online store. Some of them are discounted up to 50% off. Lots and lots of Stampin' Up! punches are retiring. Lots of stamp sets, lots of accessories and embellishments. So make sure you check that out. Okay, we're going to dive into this wreath. And I have the instructions here. That's the cool thing about Paper Pumpkin is that every single month it comes with your little instructions, your stamps, all your products ready to go. Every once in a while I have to grab my own adhesive to do a few things. But this month I didn't even have to do that. Um, you get the cute little ink spot that comes with it. And... I love those to save and use when I'm traveling or doing a, a, a project that requires me to smoosh ink onto something. So I save mine, but you could very easily um, choose to use yours as just regular stamps. This one I was super excited, or inks I should have said. Uh, this one I was super excited to get because it's very vanilla and it's a pigment ink and I've never had a very vanilla pigment ink. Um, they don't sell that. So I was pretty excited to get this ink and I went ahead and used the Happy Spring image and then I'm going to ink it up using my very vanilla ink spot by just turning it all over and doing it this way. Now, since this is pigment ink, I cannot stamp and just immediately put things together. I have to let things sit for a little bit. So um, the pigment ink does not dry right away. Like if I were to take my finger and spread across there, it would smear that ink. So I'm just going to place that aside and let it sit and dry and work on my wreath. Now this wreath took about 30 minutes start to finish, but I certainly uh, cut out a lot because I did not want you guys to have to listen to me yak for 30 minutes. And Frankly, I didn't want to have to yak for 30 minutes and fill in space. So um, basically these cute little leaves came already pre-cut and then I just removed the release paper from the back of them. And then I just wrapped them around this styrofoam wreath that came with the kit. And this is just the cutest little wreath. I mean, it's so tiny and fun and I just really, really loved it. So um, I made this and I ended up hanging it up in my bedroom because I just wanted something fresh and springy in there. And I just did the deep clean on my bedroom, you know, where you move the bed and the dresser and all that clean underneath it all, wipe everything down. It's just that time of year where I find that I'm wanting to pull things out, clean underneath them, really like deep clean. I guess that's why they call it spring cleaning, right? So I hung this in my room because it just felt like it was, would be cute in there. Um, so I'm going ahead and I'm finishing up the leaves. As you can see, I just continued layering them all the way around. And then it was kind of a mess right there where I finished it off. So I decided that would be the area I would put the ribbon and that would cover up my little mess that I made. This little twig came in the kit and then I, so I just popped it out of the paper and then these little, I think these are crushed curry would be my guess, um, for a color, the little, um, flowers and they're all they are is scallop circles punched out of like a tissue paper and then you crumple them into four, fold them over twice and it makes like a little triangle and then you have this cute little flower to go on the end of your twigs. So I did all of these. I put all of the little flowers on the ends of the twigs to uh, finish off the twig piece. 
And then um, when I was done with that, I was able to adhere the little twig piece to the top of the wreath. And then after I did that, I was able to do my ribbon. And that's where it fell apart. Life fell apart. I've always said that I'm no good at tying ribbon or dealing with ribbon on camera. For whatever reason, I cannot tie a bow well. I, you put me on camera and it's like I become fumble fingers when it comes to ribbon. So I don't know what happens, but something takes over and I'm unable to function. So I just cut that whole part out of the video because I messed it up multiple times and had to keep trying to retie that ribbon. So I finished off my little chalkboard piece here by just adding some, uh, the little glue dot sticky dills that came in the kit. And then I just laid my chalkboard piece on top. I was still really careful not to touch where the ink was because I knew it probably still wasn't all the way dry. Um, and then I just grabbed the ribbon that came with it, which is like a really nice cotton ribbon. It's that seven eighths inch cotton ribbon. And I went ahead and created uh, my cute little hanging piece in the middle and then wrapped it around and then yeah you don't see the rest because like I said this is where life fell apart and I could not figure out how I wanted to do this bow so I had to fuss with it for a long time so anyway that is my wreath this is how it finally turned out and I really love it super cute and I'll just put it in my little spring storage box for all my spring um decorations Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.